Okay, now that you have Movie Maker open, you're either going to click Add Photos. You can click to browse here, same as click to add photos, or I like to drag and drop. 200 files is what I'm going to move. Hold down the shift key, make sure you've clicked the first one to the last one. Then I always like to go up, back up to the first one and use that to drag 200 in. Once it all the pictures fill in, let all pictures fill in before you move or else it'll crash okay now as you'll notice these this label is here so I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to get rid of that next without going into each one okay there's two ways to go about this the first is to click on the label not the image scroll all the way down hold down the shift key and click again on the label right mouse click remove essentially you just removed the labels that's the first way the second way is go up here to select all right mouse click properties Go to Details tab, wait for it. Here it is right here. You just click on it, get rid of it. Press OK. It's going to take a few seconds to go. OK, it's getting there. OK, it's getting there. Press properties again, details, they're gone. That's it. Now they won't show up in Movie Maker. Okay, moving the photos. So once you move them in, you gotta wait. Don't do anything, let it load. Once these first ones come up, then that means the last ones have loaded. So don't touch it, and all of them will still be highlighted. Go up here, change this. I like 0.07. You can change it to 0.1 or whatever. That's the duration of each image. Click outside. And again, wait. I usually like to scroll down until all the images you can see it goes slow now it's ready so if you did end up clicking in here click on the first one again scroll all the way down hold down the shift key and now you've got them all highlighted again so now that we're finished we're gonna save the movie. I usually choose recommended for this project. I like to save mine in Windows Media File, but you can save it in an MP4 if you'd like. And save. Oh, there we go. There it is. So now, like it gave it to me there we go so now I can play it so I'm just gonna go ahead and close I don't want to see it yet okay so now we're finished I'm gonna go to a new project I don't want to save my project but you can down 
Alt Shift key, go back up to the top, and drag and drop. Then again, wait for these to fill in first before you click or do anything. Okay, now we're going to go and change the duration. Alright, I'm changing mine to 0 0.07 out in the field, wait, these will start filling in, scroll down, let it get all the way to the bottom, you can see that I can get a little ahead of it sometimes. Now we're pretty sure it's done, we're going to save the movie, if I can remember, well I must not have named that, so I'm going to name this time. seems to be going through. So on the second try, seems like it went through. All right, so just keep going. I'm not going to watch it. Keep going until you've got all your photos processed. Okay, we'll put it all together. New project. No, I don't want to save. So now I'll go back to the Home tab, Add Videos. I'm going to take the three time lapses that I made. Open. It might have to process them. One, two, three. So now I can add a title. I can add credits. I can add captions. See you on the other side. All right, this time we'll play it. so huge, but there we are. <laughs> 